Aye, it's Pokey Banks, baby. In today's video, we're going to be reacting and going over Naval Rabbit Cunt's famous tweet thread called How to Get Rich Without Getting Lucky. Now, this tweet thread was actually requested to me by a subscriber, so again, thank you for that. Let's go check it out. Now, for those who don't know Naval, Naval is an Indian American entrepreneur and investor who's invested in many prominent startups like Twitter, Uber, and Stack Overflow. He's also the co founder, chairman, and former CEO of AngelList. As you guys can see, he's very, very reputable and has a lot of credibility. Therefore, we can go through his tweets and analyze and see where this fits within our journey to wealth. Hey, but just before we do that, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We need to get myself to 100k subscribers. Let's get it. I can't do it without your guys' help, so let's get it. Man. Ah, cool guys. So here's a thread. It's a pinned tweet on his page. One million followers. Damn, he's he's lit. He's lit. How to get rich without getting lucky. Forty-six thousand retweets. hundred k likes. Clearly, this is the one. Clearly, this is the one. But let's get it. Number one, seek wealth, not money or status. Wealth is having assets that earn while you sleep. Money is how we transfer time and wealth. Status is your place in the social hierarchy. Cool. So seek wealth, not money or status. The first sentence does make sense. So essentially, seek wealth is finding things that actually develop you more income. So building assets, for example, not just money. So how I interpret this is essentially seek assets, seek things that will give you passive income. If you're seeking money, you're basically seeking a high paying job. That's not wealth, that's just money. This is how I'm seeing this, not money and status. So don't look for like a high paying job or whatnot. Seek something that can build you assets. So for example, in my situation, I'm building my personal brand. This is intellectual property. I'm building the brand, it's a business. My name is an asset, that's what I'm building. So, wealth is having assets that earn while you sleep. Again, like I said, you know, dividend paying stocks, a business, property, seek wealth. Definitely, yeah, this makes sense. Money is how we transfer time on wealth. What I see from this, I may not be right, but how I see it is that you work a job and you send your time for money. This is how they're transferring time, by giving you money. All right, cool, moving on to the next tweet. Understand that ethical wealth creation is possible. If you secretly despise the wealth, it will elude you. I don't know what elude means. I'm guessing it means it will come over you, it will hate you, whatever. But yeah, building wealth is not a zero sum game. If me and you invest into the same stock, we will both get wealthy together. This is, it, we all grow up together. You know, wealth is being built together. Shareholders are happy, the company's happy, the workers are happy, everyone's happy. It's a, it's not a zero sum game, guys. Now look guys, if you hate the rich or if you envy them, then don't expect to become one of them. In this university, I believe everything comes with energy. If you give out good energy to the world, good energy will come back to you. Give off bad energy to the world, bad energy will come back to you. I believe in God, I believe in the law of attraction. If you believe you will be something one day, you will be it someday. If you put in the work as well. Next tweet, ignore people playing status games, they gain status by attacking people and playing wealth creation games. So essentially, you know, keeping up with the Genesis, keeping up with the Kardashians, keeping up with, you know, trends. People playing the status games are the people trying to look rich and then try to get onto people saying, oh, you haven't got the latest designer, you haven't got the latest car, your, your, car's, your car's an 05 plate, that's old. You know, they're attacking people that play the wealth creation games. The person with the 05 plate car is actually saving his money, he's stacking his money, putting it back into his business, putting it into property, putting it into whatever. He's working behind the scenes. Whereas people playing the status games, if they're going out doing these expensive holidays, they're buying all the shoes just to impress other people. They're playing the status games. And what Naval's telling you to do is to ignore these people, to keep doing what you're doing. And you know, it's hard. It's easier said than done, but you know, it's hard. You gotta ignore and keep doing what you're doing. Pay the wealth creation. You are not going to get rich renting out your time. You must own equity, a piece of a business to gain your financial freedom. And I've been saying this, look, you are exchanging your life energy for a paycheck. You're giving yourself away to a company. Look guys, you only have so many hours in your life. If you do the maths, you work in all these hours, you will not get to where you want to be. That's not how you build wealth. And he's saying you build wealth by gaining equity, owning a part of the business. You see Elon Musk, he's gained over hundred billion dollars in net worth this year. He hasn't worked in particularly any harder, if you know what I mean. He hasn't worked harder, more hours to get hundred billion in extra net worth. He owns equity. And the reason he's increasing in his net worth is because of Tesla's surge in price of the stock. That's why his net worth has increased. He owes the equity, he owes part of Tesla. That's why it's increasing. It's not because he's doing more hours at the office, no. And in my sense, you know, I own, you know, me, Pokey Banks, the brand, I own it. I've been using this to leverage and build more connects and charge more money. You will get rich by giving society what it wants, but does not yet know how to get at scale. Again, this one's true. You know, there's nothing to be said about this one. I just completely agree. You know, it's just simple supply and demand really, like, you know, 
whatever society wants to give it to them. If they want to learn how to make money online, make a course, sell it to them. It's simple as that. And again, if you want any courses, check out self-elevation.co.uk. I'm going to teach you a lot of ways to make some money online, get another source of income. Pick an industry where you play long-term games with long-term people. Um, I think what he's trying to say is that you should go into you know, an industry that you want to be in for the long term, you know? Um, this whole, you know, personal finance thing, I'm in it for the long term. You know, this is gonna be my brand. Money in general is gonna be my brand for the long term going. So I've made my connections within the game so then we can both grow together. So what he's also trying to say is don't go into something for the short term to make a short buck. You know, Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, all these companies are long standing companies. The owners of these companies started them thinking, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be rich in 20 years to come. It's for the long term. Amazon's been around for over 20 years. It's only, you know, probably like 15 years into the business he started shining, where he started getting onto the Forbes list. That's when he started shining, really. So again, he was in it for the long term. So what they're basically saying is, if you're gonna start something, have the idea that you're gonna be doing it for the long term. So this person brand this YouTube thing, I'm looking to do this for the long term. You know, for at least, you know, the next five years, most definitely. It's not a short term thing. It's not something I'm gonna start this year and end it next year. No, I'm gonna keep going. The internet has massively broadened the possible space of careers. Most people haven't figured this out yet. Um, now you know what? Um, I agree with this, but I feel like a lot of people have figured it out yet. Um, no, I'm, yeah, a lot of people have. There's so many careers now you can do with the internet. Like, me doing what I'm doing right now, I couldn't do this before, you know, maybe 20, 30 years ago. You know, maybe I'll, I'll have to release a book, maybe to start off, to get my personal brand out there. But, you know, what I'm doing now, to talk on YouTube about personal finance and making money online and being an entrepreneur, yeah, definitely, it's, it's definitely increased the amount of careers you could do with the internet. But I do feel like people know this now. There's so many ways to make money online now. So many ways. That's what I'm all about, making money online. MMO gang. If you want any advice or questions, join group chat down below. It'll be free trial for seven days and £3.99 on a month thereafter. Play iterate games. All the returns on life, whether in wealth, relationships, or knowledge, come from compound interest. So they're basically saying, start off small, keep doing it consistently every day. So making small improvements every day, every day, but over a long term, it improves. You know, this is like, this works on social media, so you posting every day may not seem much, but it's adding more to the algorithm. It's helping you get pushed out more. Every video I upload, more and more people are seeing it, showing it to the right people, and I'm growing my YouTube account, my subscribers. He's not only just talking about money, but he's also talking about relationships. He's talking about, you know, knowledge. So when it comes to knowledge, you read your book every day. Relationships, work in relationship every day. Do something nice for your girlfriend, whatever. This is all about compact interest. All these little things we do per day will add up over the long term and just show the real return over the long term. Pick business partners with high intelligence, energy, and above all, integrity. No, most definitely. Most definitely, you have to. Um, again, high intelligence. I wouldn't say high intelligence, but I'll say more, you know, creativity or something that you don't have. So a skill that you don't have, something that complements your weaknesses. You know, um, it doesn't just have to be high intelligence, you know, but integrity is definitely an important one. Most definitely. Don't partner with cynics and pessimists. Their beliefs are self-fulfilling. Now these, I definitely agree. Um, you know, I'm an optimistic person, you know, I aim to hit 100k subscribers in a year, or well, not a year now, but in about seven months from now. So I started my YouTube channel in June of 2020. I aim to hit 100k subscribers by June 2021. You know, I'm optimistic. I believe I can hit that. I'm aiming high, okay? Other pessimists will tell me, oh, don't you think it's a little bit too high? Aim for like 10k, aim for 20k. No, that's them people who stay away from me. Like stay, if you think that, stay away from me. So if you were to partner with these type of people, you're just limiting yourself really. And I can't have those type of people around me. So again, I fully agree. Learn to sell, learn to build. If you do both, you'll be unstoppable. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. You know, learn to build so you're building up a company, building up a brand, building up a YouTube channel, building up a whatever. Learn to build and learn to sell. So learn to sell to your audience. Learn how to do it authentically. You know, you need to learn to sell yourself to people. Not just in business, but in general. You need to be able to advertise yourself and market yourself in the right way. Arm yourself with specific knowledge, accountability, and leverage. Yeah, again, I agree. You know, you need specific knowledge for whatever industry you're into. Accountability, yeah, most definitely. Specific knowledge is knowledge that you cannot be trained for. If society can train you, it can train someone else and replace you. I fully agree. Again, with the rise of AI technology, a lot of these basic repetitive jobs will be replaced. And then therefore you lot be squeezed out of the market and you look for more specialized jobs. And that's why when you have specific knowledge, a robot won't take over your position. If you are the only one else to do something, only you can do it, your job is safe. Specific knowledge is found by pursuing your genuine curiosity and passion rather than what is hot right now. Yeah, I agree, 100%. Most definitely, it's all about, you know, 
going in, doing some research, back testing, going over it. You know, it's not just something you find on the internet, it's something you develop yourself, the knowledge you develop yourself. So training forex is a skill that you can't just, you know, teach a robot how to do it efficiently, you know? It's something that you can only see with your eyes. But those specific knowledge will feel like play to you, but will look like work to others. Again, um, like I said before, your general curiosity. So for me, it's personal finance. When I'm watching personal finance videos or researching or reading books, people feel like, bro, that's long, like, why are you doing that? But to me, it's, it's, it's fine, it's calm, I like it. I like doing it in general, and it helps to give me content for my YouTube videos as well. So again, it works in both ways. When specific knowledge is taught, it's through apprenticeships, not schools. Yeah, I agree. After school, once you finish school, you have two options. Either you could do you know, university or an apprenticeship. An apprenticeship is actually worth it in quite a few cases. So for example, even being an accountant, you don't actually go to university for it. You could just do an apprenticeship, which will teach you how to actually become an accountant. You don't need to go through all the theory. You do go through the theory during the tests, but with a university, you're just doing the theory. You're not really doing much specific stuff. So yeah, an apprenticeship, definitely the way forward. Specific knowledge is often highly technical or creative. It cannot be outsourced or automated. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, like the creative ones. So for example, me creating these YouTube videos, you can't really outsource that to a robot. Like again, this is all down to me, okay? And even technical as well. So it could be like trading Forex or doing something of a high caliber, like construction or whatnot. Embrace accountability and take business risk under your own name. Society will reward you with responsibility, equity and leverage. Yeah, no, that's very, very true. The most accountable people have singer, public and risky brands, Oprah, Trump, Kanye, Elon. Yeah, no, all of them have, like, they're really, really polarized. Like, they're always on one side of the spectrum. So you've got Trump, of course, he's Trump. Kanye, you know, he's crazy. You've got Elon. I don't know what they meant by Elon. He's just um, an entrepreneur, but he's just very, very popular as well. So he's got his own personal brand. And Oprah as well. Risky brands. Mm, I don't know if I'll be going down that route, though. Um, I've been through that route. I know what it's like it's, you know, you got a lot. Of, you need a lot of brain power to achieve, you know, deal with all of it. So I don't know, maybe. Labor means people working for you. It's the oldest and most thought over form of leverage. Labor leverage will impress your parents, but don't waste your life chasing them. I think what it's basically trying to say is, right, having people working for you, it's cool. It'll impress a few people, but in reality, the main way is through automation. So that's how you can really exploit the leverage or capital in a sense, pay things to be done for you. Code and media are permissionless leverage. They are leveraged behind the newly rich. You can create software and media that works for you while you sleep. Most definitely. Um, YouTube channel, for example. It works for you while you sleep. If you can't code, write books and blogs, record videos and podcasts. Yes. These are things that can be, you know, repeated over and over again. I speak to this camera once and then thousands and thousands of people can hear me. So I'm showing this to thousands and thousands of people. There is no skill called business. Avoid business magazines and business classes. And that's very, very true. Um, that's why I never did business A-level. I never did business GCSE. I never taken a business class in general. The only thing I did closest to it was economics. And economics is pretty good. You can learn quite a lot on that. And it's funny because you can't really teach business. It's something you learn as you go along in your journey. And you know, we've got these business teachers teaching business, but they never run a business. It's a shame. I study in macroeconomics, game theory, psychology, persuasion, ethics, mathematics, and computers. To get rich, I don't think he needs to study all of them, but he's saying he's saying to do so though. Do you really need to know all of them? Computers? Mathematics? Do you really need, I don't know, persuasion, ethics, psychology, game free to an extent? Basic game free. Macroeconomics? Computers and mathematics? I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one. What do, you lot, what do you lot think about that one? Comment down below. Reading is faster than listening. Doing it is faster than watching. Yeah, no, I agree. Most definitely. Doing it is faster than watching. Most definitely. Look, guys, you'll get to where you want to be if you actually try and do something rather than watching others do it and not taking any action. Just take action. That's what he's trying to say. You should be too busy to do coffee while still keeping an uncluttered calendar. of Canada. Set and enforce an aspirational personally hourly rate. If it's some problem will save less than your hourly rate, ignore it. If outsourcing a task will cost less than your hourly rate, outsource it. And again, this is what I implement in my videos. Look, if I feel like I can make 50 pounds per hour and a chef will offer me food for 10 pounds an hour and I'm busy. So I have a choice, either I could work and pay someone, a chef, 10 pounds an hour to cook me food while I make 50 pounds per hour, or I can just go and cook. So that means I've lost 50 pounds because I, I could have made 50 pounds. That's why I think I can make every hour. I've lost 50 pounds, 
but I've been saved £10 because I didn't pay a check, I cooked it myself. Again, this depends on what stage you are in life. You know, for some other people, they can only make £5 an hour. So then it makes sense for them to cook for free instead of paying someone else to cook for them. But yeah, work as hard as you can, even though who you work with and what you work on are more important than how hard you work. Now, most definitely, um, it's all about what you're working on. It's all about direction of what way you're going. So for example, look, you can be going 100 miles per hour, but if you've got the wrong direction and the wrong destination, you're still gonna lose. You know, someone going 30 miles per hour, but on the right destination, on the right way, on the right way to success, they'll win quicker than you. Even though you're working harder, you're driving faster, you're still going to the wrong destination. So it's all about direction. You make sure you're going in the right way. Become the best in the world at what you do. Keep redefining what you do until this becomes true. Now, most definitely, man, I'm trying to become, you know, this says best in the world, but right now I'm focused on the UK. So when it comes to the UK, when you think of the word money, I want you to think of Pokey Banks. That's the aim. That's what I'm trying to do. It's slowly becoming the thing. So again, I'm working on it. There are no get rich quick schemes. That's just someone else trying to get rich off of you. Again, scams, fake gurus, we already know this. Apply specific knowledge with leverage and eventually you'll get what you deserve. So essentially, in my situation, I need to apply my personal finance, my knowledge on personal finance with leverage. So this could be capital or labor or the form of media or automation, one of those. I just need to add those types and then eventually I'll get what I deserve, the 100K subscribers. When you're finally wealthy, you realize that it isn't what you wasn't seeking for in the first place, but that's for another day. <laughs> and that's a good way to end it. Yeah, now this is actually a pretty good thread. There's only a few things I disagree with, but other than that, this is so. This is very, very so. Again, guys, if you do want to like check this out yourself, um, if you scroll under these tweets, there's lots of people asking questions and um, explaining stuff. If, you, if I was to go on a specific one, someone would even um, explain it or expand on it. Let me try to find one here. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, people just expand on this. So yeah. If you guys want it, it'll be linked down below. But you know, if there's anything else you want to check out on the internet and we can react to it on my YouTube channel, do let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. You already know. It's Pokey Banks, baby.